we're given that k square is equal to m square questions, which of the following must be true? So there's a difference between must be true or could be true. So this means that k is either equal to m or k is equal to minus m. So if we look at the answer choices, both a and b are out because we're looking for must be true. And um, uh, you'll notice that, that what this means is that if we, have a, if we were to use examples, that this would be true if either k is 3, m is 3, or, for example, k could be 3, m could be minus 3. In that case, their squares would be equal. So the absolute value of these two um, variables are equal, which means absolute value of k is equal to absolute value of m. That sort of is the conclusion of that. Now, you could certainly eliminate the answer choices uh, as we've done with a and b. Uh, we can eliminate this if k was minus 3 and m was, say, 3. In that case, this wouldn't be equal. So we know c is out. Same thing with d. k is minus of absolute value of m. So if k was, um, say, minus 3 and um, m was, um, actually, in this case, I want to use k as 3. m is, um, say, also 3 because that would also be true here but you'll see that this relationship won't hold true. So we're left with E, which is the correct answer.